Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time joining, welcome and thank you. If you are a previous subscriber or you're coming from a previous video on my channel, welcome back. Um, so it has been a while since I have done a video and I have been working on something while I have been off and that is what we have here in this box. Um, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, last week I got a email from a company and they asked me if I would like to do a review collaboration video on one of their project on one of their products and I got back to them I contacted them and I let them know that I'd be really excited to do that so that is what we have here in this box and the company that I am working with is called so tech it's s e w t e c h and they have kindly sent me this item and when I saw the videos I was just so excited to um, actually get a offer for a collaboration and um, I'm just I'm just so thrilled to do this and so excited so enough chit chat we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it so um, I received this in today's mail today is Sunday it was supposed to be delivered yesterday but there I guess there was a little bit of delay in the shipping maybe some weather issues um, that caused the delay not sure but it is here today and I have just kind of cut the sides of the box so we're going to go ahead and cut into it and This was delivered by Amazon. Oh, ooh, this is fantastic. Okay, so I have a little, this is just the, oh, look at that, Luna wants the box. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And, ta-da, we have a really nice fancy thread spool, ra um, spool rack. And this, it, like I was saying, is done by SoTech. It is the SoTech thread rack, 60 spools. It is adjustable. So we are going to move the box out of the way. And I know Luna's going to go and visit that box. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully um, you don't have any damage. Um, you can see that it is a little bit crushed down here hopefully we are all okay with that um so so tech like i was saying um contacted me and asked me to do a review on this product and i readily agreed um as you can see here behind me or behind er the everything is i just keep all my thread in these little bins and it was just an easy way to keep everything stored out of the way. But I don't see all these threads, so I tend to not use them. Um, this is going to be absolutely fantastic because this is going to let me see all my threads and utilize those a lot more than what I do. I have literally had these threads for a year and I think I've maybe only used four of them and um, maybe four, four of the actual spools. So um, this is just going to be fantastic. I am so excited with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I should actually tell you a few things about on the package. Um, so high flexibility, premium quality, um, super storage. I do like the packaging of the project product. Um, I believe this probably just happened in shipping and hopefully it's not damaged on the inside. So it tells you all your little accessories fit here. You've got your pegs, you've got your storage plate, which is the rack itself. You've got short pegs, 60 short pegs. You've got 10 long pegs. 
so you are able to also store your larger spools on it. You have four long screws and then you have the little expansion tubes and these are for to mount it into a wall. Um, okay, so we have some ex um, assembly steps here. We're going to go ahead and open it and check everything out. I'm just so excited for this. Okay. I'm going to open it up. Okay. Everything looks okay on the inside. Nothing looks cracked. Okay, so we have our screws and the little mounting thing that they're the anchors for that you put into the wall. I'm not sure what is wrong with my lighting. Let's see if I can adjust that just a little bit. So there's your, your screws. I don't know. It's really overcast outside today. Let's see if I can turn some overhead on. Maybe that'll help just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so in this box we have two, there are two 60 spools. So you are able to fit 60 spools on each individual rack. And I really, really am impressed with the quality. It's, um, it's nice and sturdy. I really like that. So there's that. And... We're going to take everything out and move the box aside. So we have our all of our little spool. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out as well. We have all of our spool pins, and you get um, there's 60 for each rack, and then 10 of the long ones for each rack. So let's go ahead and put this up here and. This one looks really good too, so none of it was damaged in shipping. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and work on putting it together. And you have your legs here. And um, I believe we just have to screw in a couple of the screws. And I saw, let's see. Align the support foot with the small holes on both sides of storage plate, making sure the latter side of the support foot brace faces outside. Then use a screwdriver to twist two screws in. Okay, so I did not grab a screwdriver, so I am going to stop for just a moment and grab one, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have went and got a screwdriver and we're going to make sure this one fits it okay. Okay, so I have went ahead and opened up my screws here. Um, they do give you some extra screws, which is really nice. So you have your two screws to mount it to the wall and you have extra of the little pins the, um, that you anchor into the wall. So... What you're going to do is you're going to take two of your screws and you are going to, let's go ahead and move this one up here, and you're going to line up your holes with the leg and it says make sure that where the writing is, is on the outside. So we're just going to line that up. That looks good. And we're going to just make sure my holes are lined up right. There we go. Okay. And push that in, and then I'm going to just screw it together. Seems like the it's going in really firmly okay um, I did not get the screw all the way in there um, it goes in really tight and I probably don't have the right screwdriver for it um, okay 
egg out and we're going to align that up just right. Whoops. And if I didn't mention, um, this company is called Sotech, which is S-E-W-T-E-C-H, and you can find them on Amazon. And I have kindly been given an, a, a, a link that you guys can click on. Um, I will have that down in the description box. And you can click on that link and you can um, it will take you right to Amazon and to the product. Okay, there we go. That was really simple and easy. Okay, so we have that part assembled. Um, let's move that back just a little bit. I like the sturdiness of it. The sturdy, um, it's really nice and sturdy. Let's move those out of the way. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our pegs. And a really good thing about these pegs is that it is fully adjustable. So if you have your large spools, um, you're able to put your pegs right where you need them. Okay, so here are some of our larger pegs. And there's four in this bag. And then I don't know how these were all in here. That's open. Okay. And like I mentioned, there are 60 small pegs and 10 large pegs for each rack. Okay. So to assemble it, what you're going to do is you're going to take your peg, and if you see how it's angled, you're just going to pop your peg straight in, and there is a little lever on the back that you can push, and you can remove your pegs, like so. So uh, it is fully adjustable. Um, I did mention that before, but you're able to set this up the way you want it set up, which is fantastic. I really love that option. Okay, so we've got our pegs. We're gonna go ahead and put all these in. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and put all the pegs in and I will be right back. Okay, so I have the first one all put together and assembled, and it was really easy to put together. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you again on the second one on how to do that. And I have went ahead and attached the first leg, and the legs, when you per when you open it up, are already attached. Um, you just have to take, take the leg off, make sure that the lettering is on the outside, and you're going to line the holes up with the holes in the frame. You can see right here. And I'm not, I don't understand what's going on with my lighting. I really apologize. Um, it is really overcast out right now. Okay, so... In the package, it has um, two little bags with four of the uh, anchors and five screws per bag. So they give you an extra screw and two of the little anchors per bag. So um, I really like that they supply extras for you. And two of the screws are going to be to again to mount your leg so I'm, I've got my screw in there I'm going to go ahead and attach it and I'm going to fold it down
just so I can have some leverage. And I didn't do it on this one. I didn't get the screws tight in all the way on this one. Let me show you what I mean. So you can see where I got the screw kind of sticking out right there just a, a little bit. Can you see that there? And I learned on my second one here that if you put it flat down and just kind of hold it with your hand, um, you'll get better leverage to screw your screw in. And I did have to use just a little pressure to get it all the way nice and tight in there. And make sure you get a Phillips that fits really nicely. Mine's just a hair too small. So I had to push just a little bit to get those final turns. Okay, so I got it in there. Um, this one didn't go all the way in and this one went pretty well. Um, so I really, I really actually like that though. Um, and what that tells me is the screws are going to fit in here nicely and it's not going to wobble around a lot. So I really like that. Um, you could even um, put like a little bit of glue on there if you wanted to when you screw it in. Um, you know, whatever. But I, I personally, I've had other thread racks where the legs didn't stay attached. This one is really great and I like that the screws are, are a little hard to get in there because that just tells me that they're going to stay in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up our next bags here. Scissors to make this a little easier. When I assembled the first one, it definitely did have the 10 long pegs, but it also had two extra pegs, which are really nice that if you do happen to break one, you have two extras. Um, I like that. Okay. And this one as well. Now, I think what I will be doing is I'm going to be putting all of my spools as much as I can on the first rack, and then I'm going to use the first couple rows for the remainder of my smaller spools, and then I will use the rest of the rack with the large ones. So I can put my cone threads on there. Um, I think um, I will do the ones that I use most often and then just leave the extras in my storage drawers. I'm so impressed already. Just the quality, taking it out of the box, out of the bags. Um, very impressive. I'm just sorting the large pins. Okay. So it was really easy to assemble the first one. You just take your peg and you kind of tilt it at a little bit of an angle and then push it in. And what I learned is if you grab it and kind of push it a little bit, do not push up high, push down at the base and you're going to get it in there nice and tight, like so. And what's really great is that you can just push down on the little lever, kind of, if you can see. There's that little notch right there. And if you just kind of push that down, your peg comes right back out but it's still, it's nice and tight in there. You just have to kind of push those pegs a little and pop it right back in. I am so impressed with this. I'm so happy with these. Um, these came at a really great time because um, with all my threads in the drawers, I just was not using them. And I really like the fact 
that I'm going to be able to seam all of my threads now and be able to choose the colors. And like I was saying, I have not used my set of th thread, um, the spool set that I, or the thread set that I got. Um, I've had it for a year and I, I've only used maybe one or two spools out of it. And um, it's because I don't see them. I don't think of them. Okay. So we're getting this one all assembled. And you can see just how easy it is. So I'm just going to put the first two rows in. Maybe, th let's go ahead and do three. And I'm going to then pause again. Um, take all my threads out of the bin. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the rack according to what the card the thread card is, so I have in, in, in numerical order. I'm not going to put them in color order. Um, they may already be like that when I get them all on. I am so happy with this, just so excited. Okay, so we're just going to do... I'm going to just do the first two rows because I know I have 80 spools, so there's 60 on here, 70, 80, and then I have a few extra, and um, I will add the extra pins to those. Then I will come back and I will add the large pins so I can put some of my larger spools on, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have all of my small spools on the rack, and I put them in numerical order according to my chart. Um, I am very happy with being able to see all of my threads. I'm really pleased. I am so pleased with this rack, um, with these racks, sorry. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and attach some of the larger spools, and I'm going to put the large spools that I use the most on the rack. Um, I'm going to see how many I can get. Let's see, can I go ahead and do it on this one? Can I do two? No. Okay, so we're going to have to skip, skip down and that's okay. I am going to remove that one and I'm thinking every two pegs for the larger ones. Yeah, that looks, that looks about right, because I'm not going to be able to put them directly right next to each other. Okay, so every other peg for the large spools, and I use a lot of white and black when I do my sewing. So I have one of my black spools is over here on my other machine. I have a white spool over here. This is another one, so we're just going to go ahead and put that one on there. And um, I, I really like buying the larger spools too. And another great thing with these racks is that they do offer you the larger spool pins. Um, I have never seen another rack that does that. So I'm very impressed with that. Okay, there we go. So I have my ones that I use most often. I'm gonna go ahead and put these other pins on here. That way I can, okay, and then it would go on this one. Okay, so I can put three more on here um, I may put one of my red ones on here, I'm not sure yet, but I have room for another white one and my other black one. Okay, so my final opinions. Um, let's see, my final opinion is I love that the pins are detachable. I can 
take them out and move them wherever I need to, which is really great for the larger ones. You can see that I have them staggered. So that's really great. I love that the larger pins come with the racks. Um, like I said, not a lot of spool racks come with larger ones unless you specify that you need them for cone thread. Um, so removable pens so you can adjust them. Absolutely great feature. I love it. I love the fact that they include some extra pins um, in the kit, in the, the set. So for each 60, I believe it was two extra pins. Then I absolutely love the strong, the, the, they are strong. They're really nice. I really like that they're strong. They do have a little bit of flex to them. I love that the racks are solid plastic um, and they're not the only piece that you're joining to them are the legs on the back. So again, we attach the legs with the screw. I love that they're all molded and they're all one piece other than the pins that you remove them. Um, the look of them, I, I love, I really, let's see, how can I put it into words? I really love that they're, that they're just, they're very simplistic, but they get the job done. Um, they're elegant, well, I don't know, can you say elegant <laughs> to describe a thread rack? I think you can, because I really like that they're clean looking, um, they can go with any decor, being that they're white, um, I just really like them. I'm really very pleased with them. Um, would I buy them myself? Absolutely. I would absolutely purchase these myself. Um, so I think that my next job, what I need to do is I need to readjust my sewing table so I can have my threads out so I can see them. Um, I will have to readjust things so um, I can have Luna's little perch up at the top. She has to have that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to figure out a new way to adjust a few things and um, I'm really pleased. So um, yeah, let me all know what you guys think. I'm, I'm very excited. I will have an affiliate link um, below in the description box. You guys can click on that link and it will take you directly to Amazon to the site for, for these. Um, I will earn a small commission if you do purchase them. And um, I'm eager to hear what you guys think. We will see you all soon and I can't think of what to say. I'm just so excited. Um, yeah. So we'll see you all soon in the next video. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.